So in this video, we'll be looking at the view more info functionality for the user and uh, in the user page. And I want to say before we start, uh, I'll be busy. I took a project which uh, I'm only allowed to work on the project. I'm not allowed to work on a personal project until I'm done working on the project. So uh, I'm done working on the project now so I can, I'm free to record more videos. I'm free to do my personal project and uh, so I'll be completing this video series very soon probably within a week and uh, so you guys should stay tuned and uh, if you're new to this channel please subscribe turn on the notification button I just start these applications I just run the PHP uh, artisan sub so let's just try login and uh, we created an account at the beginning of this video we created an account and let's just try to log in with that if we come over to this user page in this user page we want so when a user click more info we want to have a pop-up like a model that will show more information about the particular user so to do that uh, we're just going to be using the model just like we did in this add new user so if we should come over to our user our user uh, view dot user dot view file and let us try it try to create a new model and let us copy this and paste it right there and try to So this is a new molder. Let's just try to change the name. Uh, this will be view user, and this will be view view user. So whenever whenever a user click this button, we want to add an event listener to it. A click event. And the click event is going to trigger a function, a method, and the method will bring out the model and um, with more info about the user. So let's just do that. We're going to create a click event and we're going to say view user. And this method is going to have that particular, uh, it's going to have that particular user. So if we should go over to our method, let's just create that method, which is view user. And now uh, we're taking the user as an argument. And right here, we just want to say return user for now. And now, uh, if we should go over to, let's just put a comma here. And if we should go over to this, uh, we're just going to say uh, user. So hopefully, this makes sense to you. So let's just try and preview and refresh this page. And let's just see that so when we click uh we're not getting a pop-up and that's because we still need to do a little thing and right here we just want to say uh dollar sign um hash view user dot model This will be show. So hopefully this makes sense and let's see if we get the name correct, the ID correct, view user, yeah. So view user. So I think that is correct. So let's refresh this page right here and try again. Okay, uh one more thing we forgot to turn on our NPM right. We forgot to turn on our npm uh, run command, so let's just run that run watch and let's just wait for that to compile and uh, yeah. So that has finished compiling, so let's just refresh our application now. And let's just wait for that to load. So let's just click this. And now we have that uh, that model. Let's see. 
So, but we still need to define the body. Uh, we fail to define the model body. And uh, let's just do that right now. And let's just say div class model body. So let's put this in there and let's just try to bring this down a little. And let's just wait for that to compile and let's refresh. So let's see that page right now. Uh, still not showing. So uh, let's see. Oh, this is model. So uh, let's wait for that to compile. Done. And let's refresh. So we have the uh, we have the uh, model showing right here, but we don't have anything in it. So let's just come back and let's just see this user. Uh, we didn't actually create the variable, so let's just create the variable right now. User is got to uh, an empty object. So we have a variable of user equal to an empty object. And right here, we don't want to return user. What we just want to do is, uh, we want, what we want to do is we want to return this dot user is equal to user. So hopefully this makes sense to you right now. And if it doesn't, please uh, read more. So let's just refresh right now and see. So let's just click this and see. So we have the old user uh, object right there. And if I should click, we have the another user object. So we have the another user object right there. So this is actually what we want. And um, and uh, um, you can see the role too. So we have everything that we want. You can see we have access to the photos. And um, so what we just need to do now is just to uh, arrange them and give it a better look. So to do that, uh, I'm just going to go back to the project file and uh, just copy some. HTM basic HTML code and yeah. So let's just refresh right now and see that. So we have this user name and we have uh, basically this and uh, we have this also. So you can see how everything works out, turns out really good. And uh, I also want to do something. I want to have, uh, I want, when uh, you click to view the user, I want to have the user image showing right here too. Um, for some of you that requested for the uh, project uh, code, the project source code, and uh, the completed uh, project source code, you might not have this functionality that I'm about to add up in it, but I'm just, uh, I just thought of it and I think I should just add it. So right here, I want to have uh, the user photo display. When you click on the user, I also want uh, the user photo to display. So to do that, uh, we just need to change some basic things. Uh, we don't. Add, we are not really changing a lot, but we just have to change uh, some basic. So let's just say div, and this will be a row. And right here, I want to have a div called, and this will be a colon md twelve. Uh, I want to actually have six because I want to uh, be two so this will be slash diff 
and right there I want to paste this code and uh yeah so let's just do this and uh just do this yeah so right here I want to say a div class colon md6 and I'll say div I'm right here to have an image I'll say source source uh, is go to image image and I'll give it a class a class of uh, image circle and yes so that will be all and now uh, if we should come over and view this image right here just copy image location and paste this so we have this nice image as the default image right here uh, this is just an avatar image if the user does they have a profile photo this image is going is going to show so we just copy that location and come over here and we come over here and just say uh, image is brought to this so hopefully this makes sense to you and let's just wait for that to compile and let's refresh right now so let's just try to view this so we can see that image right there we can see it looks uh, it looks good and uh, so um but what we want uh this image is just there uh what we want is we want uh to, to have that user image right there so whenever the user clicks on uh view image and whenever this this method is being triggered i want uh we want to change um the image name so what we just need to do is say this dot image is equal to uh user dot photo so this will be all and uh let's try that again so let's just wait for that to compile and let's refresh so we have that image right there uh we don't have this So let's just try to see what's going on. I think we have an error right here. So let's just try to see what's going on right here and uh, try to fix the error. So right here I have image dot avatar. Uh, we should be so. Okay. So um, it's a simple error so let's just try to copy this and come over here and just say a string and this will also be a string let's just add this together and let's just wait for that to compile and mind you mind you bear it in mind this is for the sake of the video uh, if you're doing this for a project and you want and it's going to be a big project you don't want to be copying this uh, string here and there what you can do is go over to your app.js file cut this and create a constant or create a variable right there and you can use this in your and you can use it globally in your project so that's what I would do if I want to work on a large scale project but for the sake of this video i'm keeping it very simple and doing this right here so let's just refresh this page and let's see that so we have the image right there and we also have this image so if the user changes if the user changes is our profile image right now 
we're going to get this nice we're going to get the approval image right here so uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, just create the edit user functionality and uh, this is going to be simple because we already have the create user functionality we're just going to be using the same model for this and uh, yeah so uh, we've created the view user my view uh, there are tons and lots of ways you can do this but I see uh, I think this is the easiest way you can do it with Vue.js there are tons and tons of ways you can do it but in the next video we're going to go to the edit user let's say but I'm not sure because uh, in the in the project uh, the main project I showed you before we start this project I've we have some kind of I have a kind of loading effect right uh, right in this table where uh, it shows loading before bringing out uh, this uh, before showing the table data but I don't uh, we don't have that right here but I think in the next video we're going to do that we're going to create that loading effect and this is what I mean if you should refresh uh, the table the table does not show loading before actually loading this um, before actually loading the table data but in the next video we're going to be doing that uh, before we go over to the edit user like I said uh, the main purpose of this video is to create uh, rules and permission we've created the rules and permission but there are also uh, some other things we need to know that I think uh, you need to know as a developer as a web developer and uh, I'm going to be showing you those other things you need to know uh, So this video is not just about creating roles and permission. It's also about getting to know some fundamentals so uh, we've created that I think uh, we've not created the change profile image we've not done the notification system now we are we going to be doing this um, I think many more uh, we still need to create the search uh, we've not worked with the search and uh, we've not done pagination I still think we need uh, we still have a lot to do on this project so I'll be doing that right now so i'll see you in the next video guys and if you're new to this channel please subscribe and turn on notification button see you guys bye